Bună ziua! Mă numesc Adriana Onita. I'm so excited and grateful to be part of this series of Romanian women writers in uh, North America. I am a poet, uh, artist, educator, and researcher. I'm currently finishing my PhD at the University of Alberta in Canada in the Faculty of Education. The places I call a casa include Jilava, Romania, Edmonton, Canada, and now Sicilia. The languages that I speak, uh, dream, teach, uh, and recently allowed myself the freedom of writing and publishing in are Limba Romana, uh, Espanol, English, Francais, and Italiano. Lately, I've been consciously experimenting with uh, reclaiming and maintaining uh, Limba Romana, my Romanian, my mother tongue, through writing these hybrid poems where I code switch between English and uh, Romanian. I've gotten a couple of these poems published, including one called uh, Dream, where I curate an exhibit in my childhood home, La Gilava, which won the Canadian Literature Center Prize in 2019, and Descuntec for My Split Tongue, which was published in the Humber Literary Review in 2020. So uh, today, I'm going to share three bilingual Romanian-English poems about words that are untranslatable in my first language. Uh, the first poem is on the concept, or rather the feeling, of dor, uh, which is really an impossible feeling. I'm sure if you're in Romania or in the diaspora, uh, you have felt dor uh, for acasă. And even if you aren't Romanian, uh, maybe you can relate to this relentless uh, feeling of longing, hankering, grief, wish, woe, uh, especially in, in the last year. So here's the poem, Dor. The absence of Zambile, Lalele, Narcise. The impulse to lift a book by Liliana Ursu and rest in the bathtub, pretending it's a butoi filled with sun-warmed rainwater. The way I drain the water and briefly remember to forget my gilava. The way my mother walks Collingwood Road, wishing it were Cala Victorie, then walks Cala Victorie, wishing it were like it was, Cucase de moda, she cafea turcesca. The mistake of leaving Acaso. The mistake of going back. The mistake of requesting a window seat. The reason Alexandra Macheshanu left Dobrosloven for Caracal. The three desperate phone calls to police. The butoy her body was never burned in. The country with Coliva for the living. The nostalgia you swore you'd never feel. Parca înainte era mai bine. The R in Adriana and the Ts in Onita. The longing for a language that hooks and claws like that Ts in my name. The irony of voiceless alveolar affricate. The relentless way spell checker replaces limba with lim or limbo. The grief I feel when no one translates. Limba Romana in my poems. So that poem has taken me three years to write. Um, it is so difficult to describe Dor, especially considering the weight of the past year. Um, I have tried to write about it in other places, including in an essay from last year I called uh, Notes on Dor, Poetry and Learning to Cook uh, in Quarantine which was part of a beautiful anthology uh, called Beyond the Food Court, an anthology of literary cuisines uh, edited by Luciana Erregue and published by Laberinto Press. Uh, you can order it from laberintopress.com uh, to anywhere in the world. So my next poem is on another uh, untranslatable Romanian word called Hărnicie. Here it is. Hărnicie. 
Mama tries to translate it on the phone. Harnica means your vrednica, your priceputa, undemanatica, dibace. You work with spor, munchesh kurvna, lucrez kuzel. Mom, I need to translate it to someone who doesn't understand Romanian. It's like rigor, but less brute. Diligence without strife. Ponos, but less toil. More awe than vigor. More precise than play. The muscle of craft. Harnicie is unobserved. Imagine pivnica, a full cellar in winter. Making things with your hands all day. Imagine not having to prove or perform. When light arrives, you have already been working for hours. You become your work. Harnicia întrece arta. It surpasses even art. So I just love this word. Um, it grounds me because I love the idea of working with zealous unobserved and, and joyful rigor. Uh, Harnicie is not about being productive, burning out and glorifying that you never rest like we often do in North America. It's about uh, proudly creating things, uh, being diligent about your craft or practice. For me, uh, without a daily practice, art cannot and does not <laughs> happen. Um, and maybe the same goes for any important work like well-being, allyship, uh, anti-racist work, teaching, uh, being a good friend, family member, neighbor, citizen. So writing this poem about Harnicie helped me realize that there are words that hold world views in my mother tongue that I cannot forget and I must not forget. So next, I'd like to share a final poem I wrote about our famous uh, traditional Romanian blouse, Ia. Ie. DNA, map home, needles prick skin of floss silk, flax, cotton, boranjik, in, bumbak, Acul în seapă pielea, hartă veche, noi. Our hand-sewn millennia, motifs Matisse tried to capture. La blouse rumaine, not ia, cu frunze, flori, stele. Raze de soare, copaci, vise, rugăciuni. Who was the last woman in our family to know, sew this genealogy, geometria puternica? Today I dress an ia stra stra bunici de la nunta, sleeves and chest embroidered gold and black pepunza alba. How did my great great bunica feel dor if she never left acasa? If she never left Jilava, Strada Mierlari, Lunga Cimitirul de la Biserica, she stitches prayers into Payete Auri, Coloana Infinitului. <laughs> it's weird to read poems without an audience. Uh, I've tried to write the poem uh, in the shape of a cusatura, an embroidery, um, but also DNA and also uh, Constantin Brâncuș's famous Coloana Infinitului, the infinite column La Târgu Jiu. I own many of these blouses and I proudly wear them. I have other poems in this series on the on untranslatable words in Limba Romana, including A Casa, Nadejde, Strigoi, and so on. But for now, I will leave it there. Uh, thank you so much for listening, for tuning in. And thank you to Cristina Bejan uh, for inviting me to participate. Um, 
poetry is what sustains me and nourishes me especially the poetry communities I've been lucky to encounter and nurture through The Polyglot, uh, a multilingual magazine of poetry and art that I started a few years ago, and uh, Poetry and Voice in Canada, and the Edmonton Poetry Festival. <sighs> so much to do still, all of it praise, as our beloved uh, Derek Walcott once wrote. So I'd like to thank a few more people from the bottom of my heart. The first um, is Mama, <laughs> Chamai Frumasa, she intelligenta Mama, the most caring and supportive person. Most of my poems are about you. Shio mulțumesc pe Mamae, Mimi, and other Romanian women in my life who have nourished me in different ways. I'd like to shout out to Tara Scurtu, an incredible poet and, and writing coach based in Bucharest. If you'd like editing or coaching or publishing advice, please uh, book sessions with her. You will not regret it. And uh, thank you to Matthew Stepanek of Glass Buffalo, who believed in my multilingual poems and artworks enough to publish them in a little chat book uh, called Conjugated Light in 2019. He is a beacon of light in a world where many editors have proved uh, hostile, uh, ignorant, or close-minded when it comes to so-called languages other than English uh, in writing in North America. I actually have a poem about that sort of silencing that happens in the publishing world, but I will save that for another time. Um, uh, I think I'm so passionate about this because my research for my PhD is in uh, heritage language maintenance through the arts uh, and through poetry. So, yes, we can chat about that um, in the future. Uh, so finally, I'd like to invite you to connect with me to write together or share works. Uh, there are two uh, upcoming opportunities where we can meet. I am leading a free online workshop on Saturday, February 6th at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time or 8 p.m. Romania time. It's through the Edmonton uh, Public Library and it's called You Don't Have to Write in English. <laughs> uh, you can register for free on their website and receive the Zoom link to join. I would love to see you there. And one more thing, the Polyglot is offering a multilingual art lab uh, once a month starting March 6th as a chance to come together and share multilingual art and literature. It is pay what you can and you can bring any of your bilingual poetry or fiction or artworks or dance or um, collages, paintings, whatever you have to share and perhaps get feedback on and just have fun together. It's been a really rough year. Vă mulțumesc din suflet! I look forward to connecting with some of you lovers of literature, art, uh, and language. And a massive mulțumesc to the Romanian Cultural Institute in New York and Bucharest, and to Bucharest inside the Beltway. Thank you so much for organizing this series of Romanian women voices in North America. La revedere!